Hey YouTube, Irish Air Gunner coming at you. Today I want to introduce you to the Caliber Cricket in 5.5 22 caliber. I know it's not a new gun on the market, but it's new to me. I just got it about a month, month and a half ago. I put a 6 inch bipod because if you look at the gun, 6 inches is really nice. It's a perfect level because if you go back to the bullpup and put it to your shoulder, 6 inch keeps the barrel nice and flat and puts you on target. 9 inches if you're taller. But if you go with any like a 10 inch, it's, it's way too long. I've done some preliminary shooting with it uh, with JSB heavies the 18.1 grains I'm getting about 960 feet per second 940 feet somewhere in that uh, so roughly around 950 feet uh, we're gonna do some more testing with it and I'm gonna do crony work I'm gonna do all the line of the JSB pellets in the future so that'll be the next video coming out on top of the cricket being that it's such an accurate weapon I complemented it with a Hawk 6.5 to 20 by 42 tack sidewinder. I have a 2 inch wheel which I'll be putting a 4 inch wheel on it but with the flat trajectory due to the high velocity the tack with the 20 and a half mil dots is very very accurate and very very uh, precise for long range and short range shooting. And as you see on top of the Hawk I got the 30 millimeter flashlight adapter. I put my uh, Ultrafire 502B on top of it, that's the one with the green. I also put a pressure switch which runs along the trigger and uh, that's for night hunting. If you watch my videos you can get 30, 40, up to maybe 50 yards in, in, in ideal lighting darkness conditions. So this would be a real nice gun, has a lot of power and you can use it for varmint hunting at night. As you can see on the back it has the pressure switch it, the pressure plate runs right on the thumb. And I'll, I'll show you in a second here how it works. Just simply pick up the, the rifle like you're going to shoot and as you take aim press the thumb. Use the thumb here and just press so lightly and your light comes on. I mount it on top of the scope because I believe it gives it the best light trajectory. If you mount it along the, the barrel or if you mount it along the stock or in a Picatinny rail underneath you're not exactly going to get true. This one, with mounting it on top of the scope, it shoots straight parallel to the scope. So anywhere that scope is pointed is where your light's going to be. That's why I like to mount it on the scope. And also too, if you're going to put this in a flat case without taking it off, it's a lot easier to put in a case compared to it being on the side or being sticking out that way. The pressure gauge is on the front of the, the gun. Uh, it is a 300 bar fill. 300 bar comes out to 4250 PSI. So you definitely need a carbon fiber tank. If you're using a 3000 PSI scuba tank, you're not going to fill it. You're only going to fill it to about 200 bar in that, or 220 bar. If you get a carbon fiber at 4500, with that being a 290 cc I believe, 200 in a higher 200 total air volume in, a, in your cylinder, storage cylinder, you're only going to get three or four fills to 300 bar because you're going to from 4500 to 4200 depending on the size of your tank. If you have a 30 minute tank, the smaller, you may get two fills. If you have the 60 minute, the much larger capacity, you could get five or six depending on how far you shoot the gun down. So it depends on the, your total shot count, not on how many times you fill it. So do a lot of research for your air supply because pumping this gun to 4250 PSI or 300 bar would take a long time. You definitely need an air source with these guns. These guns take a special fill probe. It's not like your standard uh, quick connect that you have such in your Benjamin Marauders or twist cap in the air arms. This is called a fuel probe and I'll show you how it works. You insert it into the probe hole but you have to be very careful because you have your two seals and you have the little air fill here which is only like two to three millimeters, very small. They made this compared to your standard foster fitting or your quick connect where you can overfill a gun. You can fill a Marauder in roughly three seconds and blow the cylinders out. They made this adapter so small that even if you turn on a compressor or you turn on a large bottle, the fill rate through that small hole well, protects you from rapidly overfilling your, your gun by accident. I think for the price 
they could have did a better job on your fill port because your fill port is simply a hole and you have to pull the cap extremely out and being that it's so small you have to make sure that it completely seats in there because this is where 90% of the problems come with not being able to fill this gun. Most of the problem is in that fill port because sometimes when you put it in here with a hose you even have to jiggle it or you have to twist it to get a good seal. And for $1,600 that they charge for these, I believe they could have did a much better job on a fill port. That is really my only complaint with, with, with the crickets. One thing that's nice about the caliber, as you can see on the cricket, it has the logo back. It has a removable cheek piece so you can use single shot or you can in install your magazine. On the other side is the magazine wells which pop out, which bring your magazine. The magazines are pretty simple and pretty easy. Uh, and I'll show you how to install them in a second. Turning the rifle around, you can see the caulking mechanism. It's a real simple caulking mechanism. It's really easy. Pull it back and cocks the weapon. This is the indexer for the magazine. If you pull it back, you can see how that disappears. That's how you load the magazine. But you have to be careful when you push it. It has to go down because if it's up, it's on single feed. If you push it down, it goes on indexing. So this indexer down in here will turn every time that you cock it. You have to be careful to make sure that it's not down, otherwise you'll be shooting single shot. These are the magazine storage containers. They, they hold four magazines. This is a 16 round clip. So when you put that in and you fill this gun up, you have 16 times four. You have plenty of ammunition. With the fill, you'll have definitely enough to take to the field without having to take a bottle with you. My primary impressions of the Caliber Cricket $1600 it's a lot of money for an air gun. This is not your average everyday entry level gun. You don't f decide you want to get into PCPs and buy this gun. This gun is expensive but and that's why I never bought one for a while but I'll tell you my personally for me this gun is worth every penny. Uh, I got this gun off of Top Gun Air Gun, Peter Plesinger. Very, very smart guy, very good guy. Uh, I buy all my uh, calibers from him. He's really good. I'll put his link. Uh, he also has, has, does a lot of repairs and has a lot of technical data on this. Peter's a really great guy. Check out his website. But overall, this gun is worth it. They're very powerful. High shot capacity, high uh, foot pounds and definitely something that's a hunter and also a field target and being the bullpup it's very compact so my overall impressions awesome gun worth it keep checking back uh, because I also have the 25 caliber uh, cricket as you can see on the left hand side that's the 25 standard uh, on top of that's a Hawk 8 by 5 by 25 and they're both accurate and they're both on the money so keep checking back to the site we're going to do a lot of crying testing with them we're going to do a lot of accuracy testing a lot of pellet testing and as always please comment please rate and please subscribe i like to hear your comments and uh see you on the range on the next video